Hold up, hold up, guys. Something is happening and we are not noticing, guys. Hi, G Money Gang. Welcome to the gang. This is more like premium Nigerian content, but I'm going to still share it anyway because it's business. And you know that right here, we are all about securing the bag and getting to know what else to do to make sure that we can manage it right and live the, our best life, you know, really. So these are two individuals who are Nigerians in Africa who have taught us so much business lessons, right? So we are going to look at two people. If you don't know them, we're talking about Vicky James, Atere and Moses Bliss. We are talking about these two individuals who are top young entrepreneurs in Nigeria, still in their 20s. And this is so important. First, something they have in common that will give you a little bit of a hint or give you a part of the back that you're in the right place. Vicky James is 28 years old and Moses Bliss just turned 29, just a few days before his wedding. And this point blew my mind all nine of them but the ninth point which is a ninth business lesson that these two individuals has taught us will totally blow your mind now in the world of business we know that it takes tenacity bravery clarity all of that to remain known but to make impact you have to be brave you have to be clear about what it is that you're serving you have to go ahead and ditch anything that is a form of distraction and these two young nigerians have shown that this is the way to go these two people got married recently at the time of shooting this video tomorrow which is march 2nd is supposed to be the final ceremony for moses bliss and his wife who is Ghanaian. but the vicky james and her husband are already done with their two weeks whole ceremony and it was the talk of the internet one vicky james is a fashion designer she makes exclusive outfits for celebrities, for top level people. And she also teaches fashion designers who want to make money at that level her skill and her business line, right? Moses Bliss tells Jesus, literally, he's a music artist and he's a gospel singer. Now, what do these two have in common? I will tell you all nine of them. Number one, we saw their weddings. Started from when Vicky James announced her engagement, which was sometime in October, if I'm correct, in 2023. And then we saw their, engage, their engagement party, or rather, we saw their marriage introduction, which happened in her hometown. We saw the bridal shower, we saw the groom's bachelor's eve, to the civil wedding, to the traditional wedding, to the church wedding. Oh God, if you're not Nigerian, you'll not understand why all of the ceremonies. That's what we have to do. That's what we find ourselves mostly doing from this part of the world where we have four different ceremonies and you know i think that's just who we are as nigerians we're just extra like that okay this was exclusive okay so let me even show you remember i told you that vicky james is a fashion designer though this was the outfit that she wore or they wore during their engagement two outfits you know for their engagement which is like their introduction the bride price pay this second one is her bridal shower outfit. I love it. It's so girly and all that. And then there's this other one, which was for pre-wedding photo shoot. This one, and also this one that is a school girl theme. I mean, there are three of them. There's this one, this black one. Uh, then there's this school children theme. Then there's this yellow one that I really, really love. And then there's the brown outfit, like you can see. All of these are for the pre-wedding shoots, guys. It was a talk of the town, and you can see rightfully how why. Now they moved on to have their bachelor's eve for the guy, which was which happened on the yacht, and this is what you know it looked like it was an all-white party. Then they moved ahead to have their civil wedding, and they and she wore two outfits. They wore two outfits. Now I'm not talking just about her. She's a designer, so she had to also use her husband to show off her men's clothing line. You know, yeah, she, the Vicky James official fashion design has both for women and men. Okay, so you can see the outfits are popping. Okay, now they went ahead to do their traditional wedding. Oh gosh. Now these are the outfits that they wore for their traditional wedding. Then the final, which is the grand finale, these are the two bridal outfits that they also wore bridal and groom now this is what they wore so calculate the number of clothes just calculate let me give you some time how many outfits did Vicky James wear uh, for the duration of her wedding now you see what I mean let's keep that aside 
Now let's look at Moses Blades, whose main merchandise is, uh, like I said, selling Jesus because he sings. And look at how he engaged his wife. This melody is for you. He produced a song. In fact, it went viral in an hour of posting that video. It got millions of engagements and views for remarkable reasons. You know, not the conventional bride. He is not a conventional groom in that sense. And just everything about it just made people feel, oh, you know, it felt like another kind of love. And everybody was like. Ooh, ah, singles were like, oh God, when in a different kind of way. It, it gave some people some sense of, okay, I'm not weird after all. I can find my own woman or man after all. You know what I mean? Now, let's go into the business that these two people taught us, which is why we are in the gang, okay? Now, number one, did you notice? Moses Blitz released a full album. He released this song for life, which he used for his proposal, which also has a video, which told out the story of, a, of his proposal. But he didn't stop there. He went ahead to record three more songs and made it into an album. These three songs were the three songs that have been playing pre their wedding, to their civil wedding, to their traditional wedding, both the main event and the reception and of course the white wedding tomorrow i'm so sure and in these songs he didn't just create songs he created songs that were talking about his bride that was talking about his promise and his vows that were talking about the essence of what they share so he has not only created songs for him and his bride he has created songs that will be played in every wedding till he is gray and gone you get what i mean now this is where the business lessons are did you notice between vicky james and moses please they both planned ahead for their wedding with their spouses, okay? They both planned ahead, which is something that is very critical as a business person. You cannot be taken unawares. Your products have to be handy. If I just today, I got a deal to market the premium brand. The only reason why I accepted it was because it ties into the premium packaging I have just rebranded my, my services into, right? So my book, a publishing company have just been rebranded and we're not just doing editing and proofreading as you know as single services anymore we are focusing on a group of people who are busy executives so immediately i got this other offer it ties i mean it correlates it's something that the same clients can buy the two and i was like oh oh my god you get what i mean so i've already packaged that service i've already packaged that my service and seen where they can both go together so as an entrepreneur, as a freelancer, as a business owner, you have to plan ahead. You don't have to wait until somebody brings a deal to your feet that you begin to prepare. You will lose it. You may lose it, actually. Let me say may, right? But for Vicky James, all her outfits were already made. And let me tell you, she didn't have like a long time frame to plan. Well, going by the time their engagement was announced and when the wedding started, the, it was just a space of three months right yes i know that she's in the business she, you know she has hands she has a team they can make up to 100 outfits in that space of time good but they still remember she's not the only client in, in quotes who they're making clothes for for that period but for her to have made those amounts of clothes in that space of time done her shoots done her wedding made everything was on point it shows the kind of entrepreneur that she is right moses bliss did not only plan a wedding he created a whole he carried a whole nation along because he has a nation called bliss nation right and it's almost like guys i'm going into the new phase of my life as a married man this is our song this is our anthem and those songs his love testament album isn't just the song he released within that phase of time between his engagement and that and that album were three other other songs before this forgetting them but you can see them right <laughs> Before this, and people are like, this 2024 just started, but these guys are making it look like we have been two years into this thing. How can a man release about eight songs or seven songs within a space of a month, two months? So the game that Vicky James and Moses Blizz are playing is not 
they are, they are not playing with what their age mates are playing. They are not doing all of that. I'm still young. I have time. No, these people are hitting it while it's hot. They understood the opportunities. That's another point. They understand how to make use of every opportunity and phase of their life. That's what you should do as a business person. Design products for seasons. Easter is coming. Valentine just passed. You know, and I'm talking to you and I'm talking to myself. You know, design for Women's Day is coming. You know, what, how does your service tie into all of this? How can you use these seasons and times and calendars and phases of your life, your birthday, to create sales? That's what these people have done. Number three, these people are known for one thing. Have you noticed? Vicky James is known to be a fashion designer. Not just for him. She's not designing for everybody on the street. She's designing for celebrities. I mean, there's an interview where she said she doesn't make an outfit less than a million naira. And Okoro, that's how she, that's how she wants it. Right? Now, Moses Big also is selling music, gospel music, love music. You don't know whether he has other things. Well, if you search well, you will find out that there are other things he does. For instance, he owns a, a fashion label. All the outfits he wears for his videos and music and his crew, and even some of them, like the Etibo he won for his traditional wedding, was from his own fashion label. Did you even know? But we don't really, it's not loud. It's more of an aftermath of his already known fame for one thing. What is the one thing you are known for? What? What is the one thing you're known for? Now, for Vicky James, she's known as a fashion designer, right? But did you know that Vicky James used to live in the city of Rio before she moved to Lagos as a struggling girl? She was a known hairstylist and makeup artist. Did you even know? She was a bridal hairstylist and makeup artist. Then she moved to Lagos and saw that that niche was saturated. I'm telling you this from her own words. And she found out that, oh, Tailoring is something my mom has been doing. I've learned so much. Even though I haven't really considered it as a money-making venture. But I think it's better for me in the Lagos market than the makeup and hair. And she switched. She didn't just switch and become like everybody. She switched and became high-end. Did she make it just between 2018 and now? She's a massive success. I'm talking about somebody who her wedding ran into hundreds of millions of naira. Okay? And so let's not even go to the part where people are saying her husband is not as rich as her and all of that. That's beside the point. That's not our business. Okay? We're looking at the money. Okay? And who said your husband will be as rich as you or richer than you? You know what I mean? So, let's go back to the next thing. I think it's very, very clear. Apart from the fact that they are known for one thing. Even though they are not just doing one thing, right? There's a way it makes you stand out. Where you can come top of mind. When people think of a particular thing, they think of you. It makes you stand out and make more sales. But not that eh, she also does this, she also does this, she also does this. Somewhere in the human mind, you say, mm, I'm not sure she might be available to serve us because she has her hands into a lot of pies. You know, focus on one thing. Focus on one thing, okay? Focus on one thing. Let's know. The next business lesson that these two individuals taught me is that in their ceremonies, which were what their weddings, they sold their products experientially. They sold it with, with all their heart. But his bliss sang his song, performed it for so many times in his weddings. So people in Ghana or anywhere in the world who didn't even know him, who didn't even really appreciate his music, he forced his music, and you know how music sticks to the brain, whether you like it or not, he has forced his music into people's minds. Right? Vicky James' outfit will have made people, you can't ignore her, hate her or love her. You can't ignore the fact that she's the best in her game because she believes she is. And you can see her works. They sold what they do exuberantly using their ceremony. That's one thing. So you should do the same for your brand. They both spent money to make this happen. They didn't just, you know, say, I'm like, oh, people already know me. Let me do my thing. Let me hope for people to come. No. These people traveled continents to source for like materials like Vicky James, designed some herself, insisted on what she wanted. She was so, so particular. She didn't just hold her money and say, okay, let me depend on goodwill. You know, I'm already known. Let me just know. These people spent a lot of money. See, Moses Bliss released how many songs within his wedding? That's a lot of money. That's a lot of studio time. That's a lot of investment, right? So as a business owner, you must be able to invest upfront to make your brand go viral, to make your brand essence standard, to make your brand visible. You have to spend money. 
you know, there's a saying in my play that says, you use money to make more money. So you can't just rest on your oars and, be, and just say, by and by, what will happen will happen. No, you have to make it happen. And it talks money. So when you're making money and making profit from your business, learn to plow it back into your business to get even more business in. This, these two people have showed that that is the way to go. The next point, they are bold about their craft. Man, I mean, we have already overflowed that, that matter. They are so bold and confident and believe in themselves so much. See, I was looking at this people and I was challenged. At 40 plus, I'm like, <laughs> I, I, I didn't even, if I, I don't know. I mean, they are schooling me now, 20 years gap kind of age, and I'm like... <laughs> girl almost <laughs> and i'm like girl these people are not joking their their bravery their boldness their understanding of their craft the essence of who they are they are so sure about it their boldness is to be envied is to be copied right they are bold are you bold about what you're selling do you talk about it every day do you strategize to get people on board your business every day are you bold about it now, they also use social media exuberantly, which is what makes the boldness even, even loud. Look at them. They have millions of followers on platforms, on social media platforms. On their social media platforms combined, they have at least 5 million followers on all platforms. That's huge. This is, these people cannot be poor anymore. I'm telling you, they can't. And I'm telling you, these people are just in their 20s. They cannot be poor anymore. It's not possible. It's not possible to be known by that amount of people, followed by such crowd, and what you do is not visible or is not bought into. I mean, it's not. Okay? Have you noticed, because they use social media a lot, they don't respond to negative people, naysayers, trolls. They, they, they don't care. Especially somebody like Vicky James, who every people always, you know, why, you, why is your master class so expensive? Why are your clothing so expensive? Why are you so loud? She doesn't give a damn. And you shouldn't, too. Moses Bliss, people tell oh, why is he over doing the, the, the money? Is this? He doesn't respond to such things. You keep your focus focused. Keep your focus focused. Right? So, they do not respond to trolls. There's some people that you have a lot of people loving you, you know, giving you the thumbs up, but you're always focused on that one person who is, who is humoring you. Why? I'm responding to the person. So, what about all the people giving you love? Why can't you respond to all of them? Focus. By the time you're you finish responding to all the people who are giving you kudos. You'll be so tired to notice the trolls. But no, it's only the people who say negative things that will run to go and respond to. And then all the love will be there wasting. Yeah. So we have to learn to use social media more responsibly. Don't forget the naysayers. They will always be there. They will always be there. They have internet now. They can type anything. Their mind is how it is. It's not your fault. They have mouth to talk. So why not? It is their choice how they use it right now the next thing that that stands out from these two young people is that they don't reduce their value for anybody they're not intimidated by you they are not you, you get it's tied to the boldness they don't give a hoot who is not appreciating them they keep their focus and they keep moving you know they they seem to feed off the goodwill the cheers and the people who they have impacted and they keep it moving they they close their ears to who doesn't find what they do um, valuable you can't save everybody there's a saying that said no matter how you stand in a crowd there are people who you'll be backing because you're not 360 in, in structure as a human being you, you must back some people and face some people yeah so 180 degree this way you're facing them 180 degree backwards, you're back in there. So that's also how life is. What are what you're doing, what are the good you do? There are people who is to rub off the wrong way. And it's okay, but you have to move on. The next thing these two people taught me at business lessons is that they are excited about their essence, about who they are. These two people are acclaimed Jesus babies. Like they talk about Jesus so much that they have been able to create a tribe of young people, older people renewed people's hope on the fact that being Christian, being on the path of righteousness is attractive. And I love that about the two of them. The two of them are so Jesus-centric, even in their business dealings. And that's something to take away as well. Think about it. Does it pay to be a Christian? Are you thinking about being a Christian? Have these people inspired you in any way? Well, it's something to think about. Yeah? Let's try Jesus and see. Yeah? Okay, 
and uh, this last point is kind of off the business but it's also very instrumental which is the one i say will shock you both of these people vicky james and moses blaze are both from the same state in nigeria Akwaibom state and i'm like we used to think about business gene you know business gene and acumen coming from the east but is something happening are you seeing this new generation of jesus babies who are doing business on the premium who are teaching us things? Did you notice that? What do they have from my Kwaibom state? And I don't know why I noticed. Maybe because I'm married and a Kwaibom state man, and I'm like, it looks like the well transfers. Anyway, this is cheeky, but it's not a coincidence. That's what I want to believe. Which of these things made sense to you? What aspect of this people's life has inspired you? What are you going to take away and in impact in your business going forward from the lessons we have shared? Share in the comment section. And of course, my name is Chisum. Until I come your way again. Keep subscribing, liking, so that this video can be pushed out to more people so they can benefit like us as well. All right? So until I come your way again, keep being fantastic and be bold about who you are. Bye.